Um, yeah, so I am speaking through uh, just something to hold the freaking camera because I'm sick of it. And yes, there are petals falling off the flower in my hair because I thought I would just put... I picked some pretty flowers a couple of days ago and one's just like dead and I just feel like... Uh, I'm just really into some really like cheesy freaking symbolism at the moment. Um, I can at least make that zip tie out of the way. There we go. Never let a zip tie steal your thunder. Um, yes, I'm drinking some wine and um, I have nobody and I'm being really, 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 really severely fucking victimised um, by every man and his dog plus um, MSD from top to bottom and um, the justice system from top to bottom um, and um, it's funny how people think that that's like um, a mental health problem <laughs> you know when you don't want to like put that much sort of stock into a future as a, in a life person um, and there's a big mistake that's constantly made and I, I kind of think it's a cop out much of the time but I think for some people it's very very severe that people who just never sort of experienced what I've experienced and no that's not privilege it's just n having enough um, buffering around you that people aren't going to try and take a crack at you because that's my life. I'm utterly isolated and um, I'm exactly the kind of person that people take cracks at and they know that they're going to get away with it and um, I don't know why it's like YouTube has removed a couple of my videos, not many, um, but a couple of my videos in which I've talked about you know um, end of life scenarios and they're operating from this really crazy idea that talking about that topic um, creates copycats, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's proven not to and in fact it actually um, has proven to make life a lot easier for some people because um, it's not what they're doing is they're censoring people from the only avenue they have to connect with anybody about abuse and abuse is a really big cause of it and so I've, I've got nobody and so um, um, and, and I'm very hesitant about reaching out for help anymore because um, most of the time it's like putting your hand into like a uh, lucky, you know, what do they call it, like, um, you know, those little present things, the lucky, lucky dip, and it's like, well, you might get some lollies, or you might get a scorpion, and it's like, well, most of the things in there are scorpions, so, you know, people go, oh, well, yeah, you know, like, aren't you willing to go in with an open mind, and it's like, no, if I went in with an open mind, I'd be a fucking retard, because that would mean that I don't have the capacity to learn that there are scorpions in amongst the lollies. And what about that probabilistic scenario would recommend an open mind? It's so fucking weird. So yeah. Um, I've had a very upsetting day. I've had another bully come in. Just a common or garden body, bully, but the bullies from one of my storage units and like I know um, a lot about this kind of bullying and I know that um, like to be honest he's just tipping me over the edge now and I'm just like I'm just kind of over it because I've had um, after going through client experience with MSD's client experience team 
who don't seem to understand that this is not a private company where uh, senior leaders or any kind of leaders are able to make up their own roles. I, I asked them if I could make um, a, give some feedback to the team and no one replied and the, uh, but the feedback is do you guys realize that when you're soliciting feedback for your customer experience team that you're you're dealing with people who have have other victims among others um, who are the victims of um, um, law have breaches of the law no matter what your values are because values and law are different things and so not morals as well um, but like they're trying to put it into I feel you know I feel it's like no don't don't fucking tell her I feel tell her this is the agreement that we have and it's legally binding and it matches the role that she um, has committed to um, in the team that she comes from and that I've been guaranteed as a, as a contract. Don't talk to me about like, oh, uh, helping to translate how I feel. It's like they know how I feel, that's why they're victimising me. <laughs> it's really crazy like how many people these are usually like these sort of people who want to see the best in others are the or claim to or are determined to are almost almost an exact crossover with those who want to be activists against you know oppression and it's like who the motherfuck do you think is doing the oppression if not other people you can't believe in sticking up for victims of abuse if you don't acknowledge any abusers. It's like Jelaine um, and, um, you know, what's his name? It's like, how come they're in prison but we don't know any of the clients? It's like, there's got to be some, these are not, these are not, you know, you hear of like victimless crimes, but how come there are perpetratorless crimes? It's like, it's just so fucking weird. And it's like, I'm not talking about my fucking feelings. It's not my feelings that are asking for my rights. It's my fucking knowledge of uh, the legislation, which MSD cl client experience team should be aware of. But anyway, so MSD is just uh, double down and this includes the regional manager. Uh, regional director, sorry, of, uh, of and, and she's the you know in that region is Canterbury, so that's um, oh bloody hell, I forget her name, but anyway, whatever. Um, it's not really worth worth my time, but it's just showing me again that this is futile, and uh, you know, YouTube is really getting on my fucking tits. It's like if we can't talk about the people who are victimising us, we can't find a solution to suicide because suicide's not a mental illness. It's like we, someone in the media mentioned about our psychiatric institutions reaching the torture convention, but we don't have just a torture convention, we had a torture um, act that was passed based on the convention it's like I'm being tortured by the government and the customer experience team thinks it's coming from like a fucking private sector fucking I don't know like uh, pay me if you want customer feedback I mean I had really bad experience customer experience at a, um, you know, at a, um, a chemistry lab, you know, for water testing, so I went to a different lab. But our, t our <laughs> New Zealanders' taxes are going to MSD to make people's lives better, and in spe specifically integrated services is exactly there to find all the 
supports, it's called integrated services, all the supports to help people. Um, but it's actually what it is, it's put your boot on their neck and kick them out. So I'm now being harassed again by this criminal, so, they've, so nothing's changed. Um, they're not going to obey the law and they, and I know what that means. It means that, exactly as I predicted, that no one's going to make them and they know that. So um, I don't see how, I don't see how, like, YouTube, if, if, if anyone, any human is watching this, please do some research and just realise that you are cutting people off from any source of grassroots justice or any um, um, just solidarity in community. I mean, I know that my audience are all trolls and lurkers. Um, and I just delete the troll messages. Um, you would not believe how many there are. It, it's just it just it, it proves my exact point that um, which I've learned is that there are a lot more like probably forty percent of the population is um, has has an abusive you know an abusive enough personality that's more abusive than it's not so they're taking more much 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 more from the well-being of others than they are contributing or in, or in fact entitled to in any in any conceivable sense um, including libertarian not maybe anarchism I don't, I don't know but I think that anarchists tend to be quite socialist so yeah, um, so I did go, I went out, went out to the shop, um, my mother who hates me has given me $10 to get to the, and no one I really mean, she really hates me, like she wants me dead, um, she's given me $10 to go to court tomorrow in a taxi, and I spent another eight dollars on some wine, and I was just boiling my eyes out because I've got this fucking. I've just got you know just every like level of bully you can think of has just converged on me today, and I'm like, I'm in that situation again. Do I go to court? It's not a trial. I may as well go to court. Uh, presumably MSD is not going to fucking screw me out of a home immediately, um, like tomorrow. Um, so if I go to court at least I'm not going to have the pigs on my back. And I can come back and I can just sort of have a think about what I'm going to do. But I was absolutely beside myself. And I just thought I'm going to go out to get some wine. Like, I'm just like, I just don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, and I can't, you know, speak too plainly about what I mean by that. Um, because of YouTube, like, protecting everybody by, like, isolating us from anyone who could, like, provide mutual support. Um... But I don't, I, I don't, there's no room in my life for me. No one will give me any room in my life for me. And um, I'm, not, I'm, not allow, I'm not allowed it, it all gets confiscated, like it gets confiscated. And I went to talk to, I went to talk to someone in the neighbourhood, because I do have a bit of a, you know, like St Albans is the closest thing that I have to sort of a community belonging, and it's not big, but it's, it's not a big belonging, but it's enough where there's just like a few you know, kind of retail workers and stuff, and so I went to talk to one, because I was just crying, I was just crying, and uh, ended up, t uh, on my instinct about her was correct, and I'm really glad I spoke to her, because um, 
I didn't. I, I said, look, I'm not going to tell you the the details because that's not going to that's not that's not going to comfort me. But you know, I said, do you believe that there are some people who are outsiders who get picked on by every fucking bully out there? And she was like, yeah, totally. So she's totally on board. Like uh, I didn't. Uh, 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 so I don't think I'm giving away too much. But she was married to a guy whose father was um, the deputy ombudsman at some some point and um, he had a bit to do with a, um, well not a New Zealand colony as such, but a New Zealand kind of recipient of New Zealand pocket money and also had a bit to do with Aussie and um, she agreed exactly with what I said, I, uh, said that Aussie's way more corrupt but they've got way better systems to address the corruption, whereas New Zealand is New Zealand's corruption is getting out of control, including the police, all through government. But we don't have anyone who's actually stepping up. Like we've got plenty of laws, but no one obeying them. And she's like, yeah, that's exactly what he said. Yeah. So um, and you know she, she he couldn't say much about his work, but he was a target. He was a target. And he thought he was going to die once when he was parked up somewhere and a car pulled up and just put the barrel of a gun through the window and then rolled the window up and went off again. So, you know, like, he's, she she, know, she knows all that. I did not need to, because the thing is, the last thing I'm going to do is go to another fucking dickhead who goes, what you are experiencing is not happening. Because... These people think they are so mature and so worldly, but they don't know fuck about shit. And as I've said, I was one of those people. And um, as I said to this lady, I said, I'm not blaming them for not knowing, but I'm blaming them for not listening. You know, um, it's the smugness and it's the... It's, it's actually just evil, it's just evil, it's like I am being tortured, very clearly, very blatantly tortured and nobody will do anything about it and she said that's what it's like in New Zealand, there's no crown entity, there's no government department, there's no fucking nothing, they don't do, they don't do, they don't do what they're supposed to do. No one, no one does it, no one does it, they've got so many laws and no one's fucking upholding any of the laws. She says you've got rights and I said I know I've got rights and they're just like fucking painted on, they're painted on, the, the, my rights are painted on. And she says so what can be done about this and I said there's, there's nothing, I said anything that could be done can only be done by the people who won't do it. So the bully um, Morgan at Affordable Storage, and I, I uh, like funny enough, that's kind of like the last. It's kind of like the last straw for me, really. You know, I'm just kind of done. I'm just kind of done. And um, anyone who either doesn't get it or doesn't at least sympathise, I hope you go through this. I hope you do. Yeah. And I hope you think of me every time something horrible happens to you.